Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys want to mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. So we are having having another test down on our our upper quartile level of support. This around $38,000 level. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have tested it once, um, attempted to take out, had, a, had a, a nice push up, attempted to take out that 42 on a closing uh, basis. Um, but yeah, rejected and we are back down here. So so now we do have to play a game of does this level uh, hold um, and then do we get a bounce back a, into and above this uh, resistance level? Um, or do we kind of get a weak bounce here at which point we will, we will have a pretty clear head and shoulders uh, pattern um, that then would potentially give us a target down basically down to the midpoint of the range which is all of that is all fine and dandy uh, providing we don't um, lose the uh, midpoint of the range so um, yeah that is currently what we are looking at at the moment um, we are obviously at an inflection point here um, we want to hold this level uh, and bounce and bounce quite strongly um, and hold up here so that we don't print that head and shoulders um, or we are going to lose it and then we are basically going to target this uh, $36,000 to $35,000 level and pretty much have to hold this level because if we don't, um, this chart will start to not look very good. We will be targeting the lower end again and then at that point we have to play the game of do we lose it this time and go down into our low 20s, uh, low 20k uh, thousand dollar Bitcoins. Um, so yeah, if we want to look at the Ethereum pairing also, it is also at a, uh, at a uh, sort of inflection point. Um, this important horizontal we had drawn in, um, we, have, we did break it. And we have now come back and tested it and uh, just sat at it. So, um, so yeah, um, can we hold this and carry on to continue upwards, or are we coming back down um, into um, basically into into well, just this area uh, potentially all the way down to this support area here? If we want to look at the USD uh, pairing, also the uh, fiat pairing, um, yeah, you can see we are potentially uh, coming down into this horizontal level here. Um, so yeah, realistically, we want to hold, kind of hold where we are and turn back up. Um, but obviously, we're just going to have to wait to see what the market does. But like I have been saying, realistically, trading sideways within this range is not going to be too much of a problem. And then kind of looking at this kind of fractal down here, we did uh, this inverse fractal just uh, just to have a look at how price action can operate. We did come basically after making the move all the way from top to bottom and um, we did make the move back to the midpoint back to the top back to the midpoint bounce about and then grind our way back to the top so we could very easily get this move to the midpoint bounce midpoint and then grind our way back to the top um over over basically a month long period not, probably not what some of you guys want to hear um but realistically um Realistically, we need to be holding, obviously holding thirty thousand, and then to be looking good in the in this latest iteration of price action, we want to be holding the midpoints to basically thirty five thousand, and as long as we're doing that, um, I think overall, um, overall, um, we will be looking good. Um, and yeah, I mean that's what I'll take. I would not necessarily be looking for upward targets. I would just be looking at. Um, holding um, holding lower levels um, as as basically um, the bullish price action we need as opposed to continuing to move onwards and upwards um, so so yes uh, what is the uh, what is the stock market doing just hovering around nothing really to see there what is the dollar index doing <clears throat> hovering hovering below this level I mean if it is going to turn back up um, he's got a good chance of doing it. Um, so yeah, we've got to wait to see what happens here. Or do we break back above this one, or do we break below this one? Uh, a bit of concern over here with the ten-year yield. Um, I mean, I mean, what people will tell you is that it indicates deflation, and yes, to a certain extent it does. Um, but these markets are these bond markets are obviously heavily manipulated, um, and the Fed is going a bit wild. Um, I do also think. I mean, I do also think we are um, having going to have a bit of a problem with these um, ending the ending the rent moratoriums in America um, because I mean they they kind of like I say they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, 
it's it's not so much they're stuck it's just the um the the moral hazard implications of what basically they are more than likely gonna do um, and i think they're gonna extend and then they're gonna basically just try and find a way they basically want to bail it they just, they just want to print the money and bail and bail all the people out um and which in effect just gives uh gives the people more money and then basically that money gets filtered through to landlords and ultimately they're ultimately filters up because that's what we live in we live in a filter up uh, a filter up economy that the elites and central bankers have engineered um but there are obviously massive problems with that because some people did pay the rent and be like well i just could have not paid it and then got it lots of people are just probably not paying the rent just because they don't have to um landlords are uh, probably wanting to evict people or are wanting to evict people but that aren't paying but can't um and there's all sorts of moral hazards people basically it's artificially inflating the the housing market because uh obviously the landlords that maybe want to sell these places or or whatever can't because the people aren't moving out um so then the price, rent levels are obviously artificially high as well because then people aren't able to go and there isn't the the rental stock on the market there would be if people weren't just living in them rent free um so there are all sorts of moral hazard implications that they're juggling here and um ultimately ultimately they are just going to bail them all out because that's what they always do in the end they're just trying to find a way to do it um a way to <laughs> just trying to find a way to do it that obviously uh, doesn't look too just uh, do just too just completely ridiculous but then america is completely ridiculous now uh, but ultimately ultimately all i'm trying to say is that something will probably get done and it it, it will be bearish for the dollar uh, and it will be um bullish for inflation obviously giving all that money direct pretty much directly to people um so all of a sudden if these people now know they don't have to pay this rent don't owe it can stay whatever the landlords get the money or however they engineer it over the next few months um it is going to be uh it is going to be inflationary in in the base on um, in the so far in the fact that it's actually going to be basically money directly in uh normal people's pockets rather than like the the banks that just sit it just sits in reserves it's going to be money that people will then have and be able to go and spend um I know you might think, well, obviously, getting let off money is not money you can spend. But if people are, like, putting to side or curbing the spending because they don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden they get let off or, and then landlords basically get their money, um, then there is going to be a lot more money in the economy. Um, but, yeah, so dollar week, that, that will be dollar that will be dollar bearish because I think it will be pretty massive, um, the amount of money. And there will be loads of fraud involved, which will increase the amount of money as well. So, But, anyway, yeah, so basically I do think we have got that coming because they are not just going to um let the landlords um evict everybody that isn't paying the rent and then make those people owe that rent go bankrupt take the money off how however they do it just i mean we just know that's not going to happen ba america basically america is like a, a socialist communist state now um so that's just that's just not how things roll in those economies um so yeah um there we go so let's have a look at the stochastics uh for bitcoin but also 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 going back to the 10-year yield i mean ultimately that is a that is a deflationary obviously it indicates um it is a, it is potentially um indicating um bad times in the economy which is potentially deflationary and, and bond yields are going down but also we know that the fed is going to going to step in and buy and buy buy which is going to it obviously helps bond yields because that's basically what they're buying um so let's have a look at those stochastics now after that little crazy rant but yeah but basically my point is that i think we will see dollar weakness because they're going to have to do something about that uh, and it is pretty it is a pretty big thing to be honest and they're gonna have to do something about it but yes yeah, so that could potentially uh well bullish bullish for risk assets because the dollar is going to go down and there's going to be more inflation um so yes uh for our stochastics looking like it's turned up from a low point so could this basically hold the line for us hold the thirty eight thousand dollar it very much could um but we're gonna have uh the uh well the 10 the 10 12 and daily weighing in in a negative fashion um so offsetting that but obviously the four hour can ultimately feed through 10 hours coming pretty deep though so four hour does hold um hold this uh thirty eight thousand dollar and just started to push us back up a bit then yes uh this 10 hour can then turn back up from a pretty low level 12 hour has got a long way to run and daily has got the whole way to run um two day um looking a little bit tired up here but not too bad uh and then three day looking good five day looking good and weekly obviously looking looking well good from a low level so um i mean realistically realistically like i've kept saying 
is that we are just potentially looking for sideways, sideways, uh, sideways uh, bullish case scenario, but um, slightly down bear. Well, not not so bullish case scenario. Sideways to down, basically. Um, whilst we just digest this move, and it is obviously perfectly healthy within the wider range. It, as I did say, it would have looked a bit odd for us to have come all the way from the bottom to the top and then shoot straight through the top and carry on. That would have been a bit strange. Uh, we obviously uh, need to um, interact. We need to digest price action at this important level and then decide, do we want to consolidate and actually take it out? Um, which, uh, which is which is what we're in the process of doing. Um, we've got two levels. We've got the ultra bullish consolidation level of where we are now. If we hold above there, and then the probably the more normal um, bullish level of consolidation. If we come down to here, and then just trade sideways and upwards from there. Um, but obviously losing this, um, we then start to look. Well, well, we really we're in the lower half, so we're targeting targeting the lows. Uh, and it would not look very good. Uh, this would be our final stand, pretty much uh, 33,000. Obviously, putting in a uh, a higher low relative to this low here. Um, so, albeit not in a not in a fashion we would like to see. Um, but yeah, then obviously if we lose that, it's basically curtains, and we come in. We are gonna. We, we I would pretty much say we will lose 30,000 um, if that is to play out. If the bears have the ability to take out 33, then yeah, I don't think we'll hold 30 at that case. But um, we are still looking okay at the moment. Still holding our first level, and then we've got our second line of defense, and then we got to then then we got to worry. But anything anything within here, even sideways for the next month, um, is is good. Is good, guys. Is good. We do not need to necessarily catapult onwards and upwards straight away um so yeah there we go um so that is pretty much it for this morning guys um thank you for listening this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon